Shalom, Shalom, Akiyam. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. I would also like to give a double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. I would also like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, starting with the 144,000 men of Israel, which would consist of the servants, the prophets, whom have been ordained since the foundations of this earth to sing this new song, which comes in the form of this gospel, which would be preached throughout all four corners of this earth and rest upon the ears of the innumerable multitude of the men, women, and children of Israel, which may be scattered throughout all four corners of this earth. It's just Bayan back again through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I just wanted to get into a brief lesson uh, speaking on the signs of the times. And, you know, recently we've had this uh, moon eclipse take place. And uh, these people have ironically coined it, you know, the ring of fire. You know, and that's no coincidence. You know, because here it is, they're throwing that word fire around loosely. And that's exactly how Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai is going to cleanse this planet Earth. You know, because contrary to the feeble mindsets of you mere mortals, what took place in the form of this moon eclipse, it wasn't something to be entertained by or there's something to gaze over, you see, or to be dismayed about. See, this was a token, okay, from the heavens that Yahweh Shai is on his way, you see? And that form of spiritual discernment is something you heathen lack, you see? Because here it is, you're worshiping all right, the moon, you know, the stars, the sun, you know, along with many other things. And you lack the understanding regarding uh, these events, right, these uh, moments in the heavens that take place. You know, you take it as a time to be entertained, not realizing, again, it's a sign. It's a token, okay, that your kingdom, your rulership, all right, your eon is coming to an end. So through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the first scripture I wanted to get was the book of Deuteronomy because we were commanded not to worship, you know, the constellations, man, the sun, the moon, the stars, the planets, right? Let's get this Deuteronomy 4. In verse 15, it reads, Take ye therefore good heed unto yourselves, for ye saw no manner of similitude on the day that the Lord spake unto you in Horeb out of the midst of the fire, lest ye corrupt yourselves and make you, graven, make you a graven image, the similitude of any figure, the likeness of male or female, right, going into idols. And this is what e this is what the heathen do. You see, the the heathen worship idols, man. You see, and they also worship the constellations. Let's jump down to verse nineteen. Unless thou lift up thine eyes unto heaven, and when thou seest the sun and the moon and the stars, even all the host of heaven, shouldn't shouldest be driven to worship them. See. And serve them, which the Lord thy power have divided unto all nations under the whole heaven, man. So we are not to worship, okay, the constellations, man. This makes us corrupt. See, it goes into idol worship. You see, this is why in Jeremiah, the Lord told us what? To not learn the way of the heathen, the book of Jeremiah. Chapter 10 and verse 2, and it reads, 
Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, learn not the way of the heathen. Why? Because when we learn the way of the heathen and walk in their paths, we become corrupt. Right? And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. When you get that word dismayed real quick. Dismay. Dismay, right? Cause someone to feel consternation and distress, right? Appall, right? Horrified. Shock. Right? Shock. Like that shock at this event that's taking place. Right? Concern. Uh, let's see. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can get. Um, bear with me. Now that's what I want. So right, they're at shock, right? They're confounded, right? They're surprised, right? But here it is. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai gave us the spiritual discernment to understand what these signs really truly mean. You see? But here it is. You got heathen worshiping. Let's go here. You got the heathen worshiping this moon eclipse event. Let's go here. Well, if the weather were to cooperate, you will be able to see a partial solar eclipse tomorrow, though right now forecast does not look very promising. The eclipse, known as a ring of fire, will begin just after 10.30 in the morning and peak just before noon. At that point, about 43% of the sun will be covered. The Adler Planetarium is hosting a free outdoor event that will include telescopes fitted with special solar filters so you can view it. Planetarium staff and volunteers will be there, as will our own Tom Skelling. See, here it is. They're holding an outdoors event, okay? Turning this, in, turning this moment, all right, <laughs> into a, a time of entertainment. Not realizing that this is a sign from heaven. Check this out. Let's go here through the spirit. The book of Sirach, chapter 43. And verse 6, and it reads, matter of fact, let's jump up and read down. Verse 4, the book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the book of Sirach, chapter 43 and verse 4, and it reads, A man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams in Salakia, sending out uh, so, so like, let me read this from the top. A man blowing a furnace is in works of heat, but the sun burneth the mountains three times more, breathing out fiery vapors and sending forth bright beams. It, dim, it dimmeth the eyes, man. Who created the sun? Let's keep reading. Great is the Lord that made it, right? And at his commandment runneth hastily, man. Yeah, the, 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 the sun has a commandment to, to go down. You see? <laughs> That's why you have a sundown. It's commanded the sun that they'll go now. Hey, check this out. This is the point. He made the moon also to serve in her season. Why, Lord? For a declaration of times and a sign of the world. So here it is, you uh morons. <laughs> Right? Uh, looking up at the moon, all right, at this moon eclipse, all right, taking it as a, a moment to bring out the, you know, the popcorn and the telescopes, not realizing this is marking the end, okay, of the heathen. You see? And how do we know this? Because Yahweh Shai himself, the Hamashiach, told us there will be signs in the moon, man. And the stars and the heavens, man. Matter of fact, let's close out right here through the spirit. The book of Luke. Chapter 21. Khan. Khan. Here we go. And what comes after that? Let's get this. 
the book of St. Luke, chapter 21 and verse 25. And the reason this is red letter. And it reads, and there shall be signs in the sun. What's a sign? A token. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Okay? And again, this moon eclipse was a sign. All right? A sign of what? The end. Right? And upon the earth, distress of nations... And we see that, right? With perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, man. And the sea and the waves are likened unto the people, man. See, that's parabolic speech. Pursuant to Revelation 17 and 15. You see? We're seeing the signs of the times in the world right now, man. All right, there's been... Um, you know, unexplainable, the world will call them natural events, right? Weather patterns of biblical proportion bringing death, okay, and distress and calamity to the people, man. Not just one or two people or a hundred people or a thousand, no, thousands of people going back to the spiritual world, man. You see, that's a sign of the time. You see? Well, let's continue on. Men's hearts failing them from fit for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. Right? And again, we're gonna, that's going to come into its perfection that time in the form of Jacob's trouble. You see? When doomsday, right before doomsday come, comes into its perfection. You see? Hey, that's why Esau got that doomsday clock, man. Okay, this is when you people are going to be in big stress. All right, and a lot of you are going to give up the ghost when you see Yahweh Shai crack these clouds, man. You're going to give it up. You're going to have a heart attack on the spot. You're going to stroke out. You see, let's continue on. The powers of heaven shall be shaken, right? These elite... <laughs> Okay, scripture goes into how you're going to be shaken out of power. I believe that's in the book of Job. Right? And here's the point. Now, the next, next verse is the point. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. See? So all these signs are going to lead up to the return of the Lord. This is how we know we're close. Let's continue on. Not to mention the prophecies that are being fulfilled. And here's the point right here. Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draws nigh, man. See, Yahweh Shai himself said it. This is how we know salvation is at the door. All that hell that's breaking loose on the planet Earth, the talks of World War Three. The, 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 the MOTB's on the scene, all right? That device the size of a grain of rice, okay? The chip, all right? And we're not talking about Frito-Lays, you see? And there's an event that just took place recently with this moon eclipse. All right, these are the weather patterns. These are all signs of the times, man. See? We're at the end of Esau. We're at the end of his world. Okay, and pursuing the biblical prophecy is going to go out with a bang. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, where I learned this 144% truth. Lord willing, you Akiyam and Akwath will edify. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halalim La Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Raka Kwadash. Shalom.